Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we look at can you achieve 60 frames per second in 4K with a 30, 60, 12 gigabyte NVIDIA gaming graphics card. Well, I'm going to show you some of the games uh, that I play and show you the frames per second and what settings I use, game settings. Um, and uh, you might be a little bit surprised at um, the results I get. I'm using a 12700K, um, which is an Intel i7 uh, CPU, which has eight fast cores and it has four efficient slower cores. Yes. And uh, the reason why I'm looking at this today is that these new 4000 series graphics cards are coming out, or the 4090s already come out at $1,600 US. Um, you know, giving you around 140, 150 frames per second in 4K. Uh, the 4080 at 1200 US dollars, um, giving you around 110 uh, frames per second at 4K. So, if I'm looking to buy a new graphics card, which one should I look at? Well, if I can get 60 frames per second at 4K, and that's the setup I have, well, hey, maybe that's all I need. I also heard a rumor that the 4060 a graphics card only has 8 gigabytes of video memory and it's going to be released in June. It's just a rumor, but why do we have to wait six months between the 4070 and 4060? Well, so they can sell the other stock, I guess. Um, so uh, I may give this generation, this 4000 uh, series generation, a pass um, and uh, uh, just look forward to the next generation of graphics cards because as I see it, I may not need it. I have a 30, 60, 12 gigabyte EVGA XC card and um, only has two fans. Um, and uh, this is the second one. Um, the first one I returned uh, because the temperature shot up. And I think it was caused by some thermal paste issues, like an inferior thermal paste or not being applied properly. Um, so if you have one of those cards and you're out of warranty, um, don't just throw it out. Um, you may be able to re replace that thermal paste and it'll, uh, you'll be good to go. Um, but I don't want to have to do it on my card. I hate taking it apart and putting it back together and then do something wrong and it doesn't work and that kind of thing. So what have I done? Well, I have basically underpowered my card. So I've taken the power slider and moved it to 80%. And so I'll talk a little bit about difference in frames per second by doing that and the difference in temperatures. And spoiler alert, the temperatures do go down. Yes, so there is hope if your card is producing too much heat, um, you may be, may, may be able to reduce the power on it and still have it work. Okay. All right. So um, with this 3062012 gigabyte, if I had to buy one over again, I'd really look at one with three fans instead of two fans. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, there's about a $20 difference to get one with three fans. Now, I'm not going to tell you what brand to get. I'm hearing bad things about the um, software for different uh, video cards. Well, um, it's a shame EVGA has pulled out of the video card market. Um, they even re released a new um, software version for their um, graphics controller. Um, for their overclocking software for the um, their video cards. And I was quite surprised because I thought they were done. Um, uh, but they did update um, their software. 
um, I've been using that. Uh, I've tried the MSI Afterburner, which when I um, switched over to Windows 11, I couldn't get it to work on there. Um, so I just gave up on it. Um, I've used the ASUS software, and that's okay. Um, and the EVGA now, it's all right. Um, so hopefully you have some software that works good for you. Now the 4070 graphics card is due out around January 5th, 2023, so not far away. Um, and so if the 4090 is 1600, 4080s 1200, I'm guessing the 4070 might be around the $800 mark, which is way too much. Um, they seem to be just slotting their video cards now and to um, give you the sort of the, f the, f the frames per dollar um, uh, performance. Uh, so um, with the 3080, you're looking at somewhere around 73-ish uh, frames per second in 4K, um, looking at over a 10 game average. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I can do a bit better um, on some of the games uh, than that with the 3060. Also with that 12 gigabyte of memory, you can do a few things that you can't with the, the 3060 Ti, which has eight gig of video RAM. The 3070, 37 Ti, only eight gigs of video RAM. So I like having that 12 uh, gigabytes and I'll show you um, a bit um, today. Um, why I can basically fill in that 12 gigabytes um, as well as have it available for resizable bar. What's resizable bar? Well, with the newer motherboards and CPUs, if it needs a bit of help from the video card for its faster memory, well, it, it can do that. Um, so sit right back, have a cup of coffee, and we'll get into it. Here they're trying to reform the savages, make them pretty and kind. Mm -hmm. Well, hey now, hard.
Well, if you'd like to see some more videos on a wide variety of technology subjects, all you have to do is subscribe and you'll get notified when those videos are ready. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.